hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's joey again i'm going to be showing you how to set up your knitting machine this is a brother it's a brother kh 811 it's not really new it's a second hand machine and usually i'm in uganda so we usually get this in second hand okay so i'm going to start off by showing you what must be in your machine as you're buying it the must have pieces that you must check be sure they are there before you purchase that machine okay all right let's get into it so guys first off this is called a comb this is a comb this is a must have okay it has its own purposes that aside we have these weights they're supposed to be two pieces of the weights they must be in your machine okay if you're buying a second hand machine um that aside then we have these these are supposed to be three in your kh811 machine or any other okay so these two let's look at these these are similar these are similar and they come in a pair because we have some designs that we use to make them when you're using both of them so those must be two similar okay and then we have that one which is which has one this side and two the other side these have three on one side and two on the other side okay those are pickers they also have uses that i'll be showing you guys that is also supposed to be part of your machine we use this to correct mistakes we use it to cast off so it must be there okay and then we have this ruler which is the needle selector okay we use it to select needles uh, just a sample okay something like that see that so that's a needle selector this must be in your machine okay and then we have these the machine holders okay they're supposed to be two they hold your machine onto the table that you're going to put it on so those two must be in your machine okay so some machines come with a counter a row counter here but for this particular one the row counter is to be attached okay so careful when you're buying be sure you're seeing the row counter here if it's not then it must be attached and this is the row counter that's it you it helps you count your rows when you're knitting it keeps counting we are going to see how that works okay and so the other thing is the lace carriage that is what they call the lace carriage it must be a part of your work and then the main carriage this is the main carriage okay which has the tension so is it select tensions it has buttons you're going to see how all that works this is also part of the main carriage i'm going to show you how to join it together you just have to stick around and subscribe please subscribe because i'm going to be giving you more videos on knitting so this is joined to the other and then we also have this this is a must be in your machine i'm going to show you how to set it up and you'll see its use as well okay so guys those are the main things that you have to look out for when buying your second hand machine okay all right so now let's get to setting it up so we're going to set up our machine so before you fix it to your table it's like this it moves okay so now we want to fix it to our table we have these pots here we have these two pots so let's fix this on to make it firm okay. have this pot here too 
to fix it on. And now the machine is firm on the table. I think you can see that. Okay. Now next, I've already fixed this, but if yours is like mine and it's not fixed onto the machine, then you have to put it there yourself. So this is how I fix it on. That's it. Okay. Then next, we have this. So now we are going to fix this. Okay. So this goes up. That goes up like that. That stays here. This is usually down, so you put it up. Okay. Then come and show this pot here. We have this pot here, so this goes into that. Like that family. And I'll fix back our row counter. So guys, this is how this is fixed. Alright. Okay. Then let's get to our main carriage. So this, this, we fix this onto this. So we open here a little bit here as well. These two are what we are putting here. Okay, and then you close it. And you close it off and join it to our machine. So this is what moves here the machine so we join it to the machine that's our main carriage this is supposed to be down so that it counts when i know the row count counts okay if it is up it won't count so you make sure it's down and the row counter is counting okay so this is the last carriage this is the last carriage. Uh, in case you're going to use it as well, then you fix it on to the machine as well. Okay. So you look out for this part and fix it on. Okay. So that is our last carriage. Okay. All right. So let me show you how to fix your yarn onto the machine okay so i usually use robin 100 percent acrylic so let's fix it onto our machine so it's better you pull it from inside so that it sits in one place and moves okay This is how you fix it on. Okay, we are passing it here. Are you seeing that pot close? Here. Okay, then we take it up to this. It has to go through this and this. So we pass it here and then here. And then we bring this string from up and put it here. Okay. So these strings help with moving the threads rightly, okay? So if you want to rest it, this is where you rest it, before you work or when you pull. Yeah, so if you're going to use two different colors, so you fix the same way we fix the other one. This is my end. Fixing it in there, okay? Bring it up here into this okay. then we'll bring this down we'll bring this down into that and now we have both fixed okay so that is how we set up our machine ready for use okay um that's it guys thank you for watching catch you next time